We're now joined by Wisconsin quarterback Tanner Mordecai, former Midway All-State blue chip quarterback, and this is 365 Sports. So the journey continues, except now it's in Madison, Wisconsin. How quickly did people contact you when you named, when you entered your name in the portal? Um, yeah, so the, when my name went in, uh, there's a notification thing that goes off. And, I mean, it was probably – a couple minutes, my name, but whenever the notification went off, I had a bunch of numbers uh, ringing my phone. So it was pretty crazy. People from all over. Was it different than the last time you entered a portal with Oklahoma to SMU? Um, I think maybe the magnitude of the teams were a little bit different. Um, back when I entered it, you know, a couple years ago, I think. I haven't. I wasn't a proven, you know, college quarterback, and now that I have played two years and put up some productive uh, numbers, that whenever I entered a portal, I guess it was, I was more appealing. You had mentioned entering the draft at SMU, and and wasn't. I'm not sure if you ever actually officially said that or not. And I know there's a difference between saying it and doing it. Did you feel like there was maybe a need for you to go play for a Power 5 school to prove yourself at, at a different level? Um, maybe, but, I mean, I, I mean, I had nothing but great times at SMU. Uh, very thankful for what happened there. Um, you know, the relationships, the, the friendships, everything that went on at that university was awesome. Um, I think just being able to go play at a place like Wisconsin will help me, uh, you know, better my draft stock this this, this next coming year. Um, I think it's just an overall good opportunity that I could pass up. So I think that's why I chose to, you know, use my last year of eligibility up there. Luke Fickle, Phil Longo, Wisconsin, obviously a team that has competed for Big Ten Western Division championships and also the Big Ten title. Um what is the process? Once you enter, people call you, you talk to them. Eventually you make a decision. It didn't take very long. Did you speak with coach Fickle and what did he say if you did? Yeah, I, I talked to Coach Fickle. I talked to uh, coach Longo. Um, I mean, they're, they're really excited about me. Um, you know, they wanted a guy that could come in, um, you know, lead, lead the guys, uh, lead the culture and, you know, be productive this fall, uh, win a lot of games and go compete for championships. Um, you know, Coach Longo is a big, big reason. Uh, he, I think, is one of the top offensive minds in college football right now. He, uh, we have a relationship back in high school and he was at Ole Miss mm -hmm. when he was under uh, Hugh Freeze out there. So uh, we've known each other for a little while. And yeah, it kind of just all fell in place. He also just came off a year with this dramatic uh, explosion of the everyone knew about May, Drake May at North yep. Carolina. Did that also just validate everything about what he does with quarterbacks? Yeah, that and um, him with Sam Howell the year mm -hmm. before that. Yeah, of course. So what was more important, Luke Fickle, Phil Longo, offense, Wisconsin, Big Ten, or the hunting and fishing you can do in Wisconsin? <laughs> I think it, I think it's all just a perfect marriage. All of it came together at the right time. Um, you know, I think I think there's a lot of pieces that kind of just fell into place. And I mean, I, I'm just so fired up for this opportunity to go up there. Um, I know their football culture as a school and as a city and as a state it's just unreal, and I can't wait to make them proud. Well, for those who don't know, and anyone that knows you, you love to hunt and fish, no question. Have you ever hunted or fished that far up north? No, sir. I'm not, I haven't been up that, that far up north. And, I mean, I'm, I'm so excited to be up there. Uh, I mean, yeah, as far as hunting and fishing, I know it's a little bit different, but I've heard it's pretty incredible up there as well. Desmond Ritter had a great run at Cincinnati under Luke Fickle. Did did that enter, or did that even come into mind? He, in fact, helped help, help the Falcons come back and win a game yesterday. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I think that kind of validates Coach Fickle. To, I mean, even though he he has coached defense in the past, that he's um, you know open to different offenses and um, you know lets the offensive guys you know do their thing. And, I think that definitely helps for sure, especially when 
you know, Ritter had such a successful career at Cincinnati. Tanner Mordecai, Wisconsin quarterback with us, midway star quarterback with us on 365 Sports. So you had Lincoln Riley at Oklahoma, Sonny Dykes at SMU, then Coach Lashley, and now Luke Fickle and Phil Longo. That's a pretty good little – that's a, that's a great mentorship, so to speak. It's almost like – serving under some elite names how much does that when you reflect back on your career how much has that been great for you i mean it's allowed me to learn from so many different pers- uh, perspectives um see how things are done and how uh, you can be successful in different ways i think there's a lot of different avenues to success and um with me being able to uh, play under so many different people that uh, allows me just to uh, see a different uh view of things and how things are done you don't seem to be somebody that really i'm not saying you don't like the attention you have had it for a long time since you were at midway and then of course what you've done in college what was the attention like when you made the decision with wisconsin i mean those guys i mean wisconsin lives and breathes football i mean they love their football up there so um yeah i think i think their atmosphere for Wisconsin football is as good as anywhere in the country. So, yeah, I can't wait to get up there and actually feel it. What have you learned, Tanner, about your, your just you yourself uh, during this journey of where you've been, where you have played, and now where you're about to play? Um, I think, you know, being patient, uh, resilient. I think um, – I think I've, I've made some relationships that that will last a lifetime. I think, you know, the best friends for the rest of my life, I've met them already. And I, I think that's what I'm really thankful for is the people that I've come across. And uh, I think I've just learned to shake as many hands as I can, uh, network as well as I can, and, uh, you know, get to know people. I think, that's, I think that's the biggest thing I've learned so far. How much does NIL come into play when it is in this day and age of college football? I mean, it's, it's a realization of college football now. Um, whether you like it or don't like it, that's how, that's how the game's going to be played until, you know, says otherwise, until NCAA says otherwise. Um, I mean, it's a part of the game. It's, it's as real as ever, so it's something you have to take in consideration as a coach and a player for as long as it exists. You know, your father, Micah, an incredibly important and and obviously uh, a successful businessman. Your parents have been fantastic. The the decision to play at Wisconsin, there is NIL available. You also now play at a Big Ten school, and they are, of course, a major part of college football. When you talk about where you were, when you discuss where you were at Midway High School and now where you are, and yes, you were at Oklahoma and SMU, is it kind of a whirlwind in a way? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't think I would, you know, when I came to OU, I never thought I would go to SMU and then end up at Wisconsin. I never could have told you that was going to happen. Um, but I, I guess it's a calm whirlwind. It's a fun whirlwind. I've had, you know, I had awesome three years at OU. Like I said, lots of relationships I've made that carry for the rest of my life. Then my two years at SMU is awesome. Uh, the people there, McDowell is awesome. Um you know, the SMU alumni, they, they've all been awesome, really great to me. Uh, the coaches that I've met, and now, I mean, I can't wait to be up to Wisconsin. I know it'll be different than the other two, which is which is good. Uh, just like SMU is different than OU, I know Wisconsin will be different than, than both of them. So, yeah, I guess it's a little bit of a whirlwind, but it's a fun one. Um, it's a it's a calmer whirlwind than, when, than you would think. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm fired up. Let me ask you this, and I hope you understand why I'm asking you. You knew Chandler Morris, obviously, from where he was. And then, of course, yeah. he was supposed to be the starter this year at TCU. Had the great game against Baylor last year. He gets hurt. Duggan takes over. And we've seen this storybook season for TCU and your former head coach in Sonny Dykes. Did Chandler reach out to you uh, about Sonny, or did Max Duggan ever talk to you much about Sonny Dykes? And are you surprised where TCU is right now? I didn't know Max, uh, really. I really don't. I don't know a whole, whole lot. Um, but me and Chandler were together at OU, so mm-hmm. so yeah, he reached out just asking about you know Garrett Riley and OC over there and stuff like that. Such cause, so mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, 
you know, Coach Coach Dykes, really good coach. Uh, coach Garrett Riley has done a great job offensively, obviously. Um, so I'm happy to see their success. And uh, Coach Cause, a strength coach, that was uh, actually with Art Riley a while ago. Right. He was, he was with us at SMU and now at TCU. He, I think he runs a phenomenal strength program and uh, from a leadership standpoint as well. So, yeah. I'm not. I'm not too surprised, but uh, it's been it's been great for them. No doubt. Ask. Uh, I have to ask this question before you entered the portal. Were there people reaching out to you that shouldn't have been? Nope. No, sir. You hear coaches have been saying that there's a lot of that going on, and maybe it is on ongoing elsewhere. But did that allow you to just peacefully make your decision? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Tanner, thank you very much. Congratulations. When do you uh, when do you leave for Madison? Um, I'm going up there for a couple of days here pretty soon. Then I go up there uh, for good uh, near the end of the month. Start another semester. Tanner Mordecai, Wisconsin quarterback, former Midway star on 365 Sports. Thank you to Tanner Mordecai.